last night's massacre in the Ukrainian city of Odessa. Please be warned, some people may find the following pictures disturbing. Dozens of people burned alive there in Odessa as radical nationalists firebombed a building associated with anti-government groups. In sheer desperation, people trapped by the flames jumped out of the windows. You can see there in slow motion that picture. Survivors, though, were brutally beaten by armed men believed to be from the ultra-nationalist right sector group. The extremists have called for the use of terror tactics against the separatists. The clashes, which began early in the day, claimed 46 lives with almost 200 injured. Our team managed to speak with a number of people who survived the blaze. A woman and children were hiding in the trade union's building. First, the armed men set fire to tents, then started throwing Molotov cocktails and grenades to the building. We heard shots fired and saw the smoke. There were about 50 of us on the roof, men and women. The right sector was blocking the streets. We looked down at what was happening around us and thought they wouldn't let us out alive. People from other floors were brought down, and the extremists attacked them like a pack of wolves. Then the police escorted us from the building. We had to step over dead bodies when we were coming down the stairs. RT's Maria Finoshna is in Odessa for us and told us how the situation unfolded. The clashes between those protesting against the country's new authorities. Witnesses say there were around 100 of them and those supporting the country's new government, people in Kiev, reportedly a group three times bigger started here from the city's central Grecheska or Greek square. It lasted for two hours. Up to four people were killed and many others injured. It stopped when police arrived to the scene. But it was not the end. The supporters of the interim government in Kiev, joined by football fans reportedly coming from neighboring regions, came here to where for weeks those who do not recognize Ukraine's new authorities have been protesting. The so-called pro-Maidan activists first burned down their tents. They were here in front uh, of the building on this square and then set on fire the trade union's headquarters that you can see behind me at the time when several people were inside. Eyewitnesses say they barricaded the entrance that you can see over there, preventing people from leaving and started throwing Molotov cocktails through the windows. People inside started suffocating as a result. More than 30 died. Many of them burned alive. Others were killed while trying to jump out of the windows. I saw at least six people jumping from the building. I think they're dead. I carried some people with head wounds. At the same time, there were shots from behind the backs of the security forces. Someone was firing a machine gun. We have the empty shells to prove it. For several hours after that, around 50 people remained trapped on the rooftop of this building until police arrived to the scene and saved them. What happened in Odessa on Friday changed the mood here in the town dramatically. And now no one can say for sure what is going to happen next. Marif Noshna, RT from Odessa in Ukraine. Just to remind you who the right sector, the group believed to be behind the inferno, actually are. The extremist network is suspected of being involved in numerous attacks against anti-government activists. And although it helped the current government in Kiev come to power, it isn't controlled by it. They have already uh, defied the interim leadership several times, including refusing to disarm or leave buildings they occupy in the capital.